so there was a tea room, and I believe it was under the old gym, uh, as I recall, and that was a place where you could smoke. And then it was built as a small tea room, a little building, and it was called a, from a tea room, it became called a tea house, and then eventually it was um, going to the tea for a Coke or for a cigarette or whatever. And T was capital T. It wasn't T-E-A, it was T. And it was uh, just known as a general gathering place, which was re respected in a sense, their privacy by the faculty and the staff normally did not socialize well, it was always the center, for instance, at Halloween. There'd be a big Halloween party in there, and it certainly was the place that everybody went to after a basketball or a hockey game. We used to go down to the tea room at night. I don't remember that we had certain hours, but I think around 9 o'clock people would break from study and go down to get a cigarette. And my classmates took me with them one evening and uh, I and showed me about smoking. And I started smoking with them. And in the course of that e particular evening, a question was raised among us. Would we have to uh, hide our cigarettes or conceal them if our parents came uh, around. And the different students answered it according to their way they had been raised. And some said their parents would understand and let them smoke. And others would say they would not approve of it and they would be prohibiting it. And then they came to me to ask me what my parents would say, and since I had never smoked in the presence of my parents, I had no idea, and I also uh, just said I would write home and ask them. I didn't know how they felt about smoking. Some of your parents, obviously, I said to them, feel strongly about it. I don't know how my parents feel. So I did write home and ask them, what they thought about it. And my mother, who was the scribe for the family, she would write back and she said, your father and I feel that you are old enough now to make that kind of decision for yourself. But let me just suggest two cautions before you make up your mind and decide to smoke or not. One thing that she felt, mother felt, was that it was said that uh, smoking could stunt your growth. And she reminded me that I was already short of stature and to take that into consideration when I was making my decision as to become a smoker or not. And the other thing she said to me was, smoking is an expensive habit and you're away from home now and for the first time with an allowance, and you have to figure out if that's the way you want to use your allowance, because it, with the depression of the 30s, this was in the 30s, um, is that where I wanted to spend my money? And I never realized the change.